the focus of today's lesson is rewriting literal equations. When we say literal equation, it refers to an equation that has two or more variables. And in order for us to rewrite literal equation, we need to solve for one variable in terms of the other variables. In, that means we have to isolate the variable that we are solving for in one side of the equation. So let us consider the following examples. So in number one, the equation is 3y plus 4x equals 9. And you are solving or we are solving for y. That means we need to isolate the variable y in one side of the equation. From the original equation, we want to eliminate positive for x because we only want y. So that can be done by subtraction. So whatever we do in one side, the same should be done in the other side according to the subtraction property of equality. So here we bring down 3y. 4x minus 4x is 0. We bring down 9 and also negative 4x. We only want y in one side of the equation, so we eliminate 3 by division. So we divide all terms by positive 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1 times y is equal to y. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. And then negative 4x divided by 3 is negative 4 thirds of x. In, the, in writing the, the equation in standard form, the constant term should always be the last term. Therefore, the final answer can be written as y equals negative four thirds of x plus three because the understood sign of three is positive. In the second example, the equation is y equals three x plus five x z. And we are solving for x. That means x should be in one side of the equation. So in the original equation, you will notice that 3x and 5xz have the same variable x. Therefore, we can factor out that x using the distributive property. So we don't change our y we just factor out our x. So in factoring out our x, we have to divide the term 3x by that variable x. So x divided by x is equal to 1 times 3. Then that gives us 3. And then the other term also has a variable x. So we eliminate that x also by division. So x divided by x is 1. The remaining term is 5y. So here, as I said, we used the distributive property. But then we are solving for the variable x. So we do not want the factor which is the quantity 3 plus 5y so we need to eliminate that by division so whatever we do in one side the same should be done on the other side of the equation
So on the left side, we still have y over 3 plus 5y. And then the right side will leave us x only because we cancel out 3 plus 5y over 3 plus 5y. So the resulting equation is y over 3 plus 5y equals x. In the standard form for an equation, we always put the variable that we are solving for on the left side of the equation. So this can now be rewritten as x is equal to y all over 3 plus 5y. So this should be our final answer for the second example.